Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Jake Bennett. I serve as Director of Legislative Affairs for the Israeli American Council, a nonprofit organization that represents Jews nationwide who are victimized by the organized discrimination and anti Semitism that is promoted by the BDS hate movement. Colorado's anti BDS law was designed not to weigh in on a foreign conflict, but to defend local Coloradans from BDS discrimination. I primarily, in my testimony, like to address the inaccuracies of the ACLU uh, Colorado memo that was referenced earlier. Uh, the, the response I just handed to you relates to that. Um, but before I do, I think it's, it's uh, critical to address uh, a couple things that were said earlier and, and note uh, the BDS movement's links to terror organizations and use of anti-Semitic propaganda has been well documented in evidence-based reports. I can share those with you uh, after this hearing. Contrary to the claims of, of, of this bill's supporters, the BDS movement is not a peaceful human rights movement. The executive council of the BDS National Committee includes as permanent members Hamas, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, the People's Front for the Liberation of Palestine, and Fatah, all organizations that have set out in their charters and everyday public communications that they are at war not only with Israel but with Jews and Judaism. This is a discrimination and anti-Semitism movement. Hamas, as we all know, is the main, part, the main group responsible for October 7th. The proponents of BDS are therefore advancing the cause of Hamas and its fellow BDS executive committee members. Those organizations are not opposed to ethnic cleansing, genocide, and apartheid. Those are their mission statements, but they're anti-Jewish, apartheid, ethnic cleansing, and, uh, uh, and genocide. To reiterate, though, and, and bring us back, where's my time clock? Okay. Uh, Colorado's anti-BDS law is about protecting local Coloradans from discrimination. Uh, all the talk about the Middle East is a red herring. The ACLU memo that, that you all received this weekend contends that federal courts in Kansas, Arizona, Texas, and Georgia have held that laws penalizing boycotts of Israel violate the First Amendment. This is false. Every single one of the cases referenced was ultimately dismissed. That's Kuntz, Jordal, Amawi, A&R Engineering, and Martin. None of those cases involve Mr. the Mr. Bennett, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to wrap up here. And, but okay. we'll have questions in a little while, so if you can stand by. Thank you. Um, so this has been addressed in, in numerous states. Uh, I'll uh, just recite the, the um, states were Kansas, Arizona, Texas, and Georgia, where the ACLU tried to take down similar laws to this, saying they were unconstitutional. In, in none of those did they get a merits-based ruling. At the most, they got a temporary injunction. In every one of those states, those laws are still in effect. Um, they also, in that memo, mischaracterized the Arkansas ruling, said that there was one politically motivated judge. What they didn't say was that in the Eighth Circuit, it went to an en banc ruling where nine to one, it was, it was upheld that this law was indeed constitutional. There's not a constitutionality problem. That law, they then tried to bring it to the Supreme Court, and uh, without exception, the Supreme Court rejected hearing it. They were satisfied with the ruling out of Arkansas. 